Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, uh, we've got a question from uh, a visitor via the YouTube um, channel, quantlabs, uh, and uh, they were asking a very simple question. Hi there, I watched YouTube, your YouTube video and you referred to MathWorks webinar, algorithmic trading webinar. You said it takes a couple of seconds using parallel computing. However, in a quad core machine for HFT, like you were talking about, it takes several days for optimization using RSI or moving average. Okay, um, hopefully you've seen that video um, on the webinar. Um, there's a number of uh, open-ended issues that come out of that. First of all, um, the uh, use of MATLAB um, from MathWorks, uh, just first of all, is very scalable. Now, obviously it depends upon your quad-core machines that you're using to set up in a cluster. Uh, they could be whatever generation, it could be what kind of processor, it depends on how many cores, and obviously how much RAM. Um, basically, if you're going to use the um, parallelization uh, toolbox within MATLAB, um, it's very easy to code. You just add what they call a par-4 loop uh, instead of a for loop. If you're doing something like uh, Monte Carlo simulation or just doing something simple like what uh, this demo has in the webinar, um, everything comes down to how much hardware you're throwing into your cluster and typically on the power and specifications of each machine, which basically is defined no different than your set of workers in MATLAB. So when you're parallelizing, uh, obviously you set up a pool, depends upon how big the pool is and the types of workers that are available to MATLAB on the head node. So. That's a fairly open-ended question, but I have seen demos where um, it could take 30 seconds to do an analysis on some kind of um, matrix or um, data set, and you can crunch it down to half a second. But it all depends upon, again, on your cluster and what types of machines you have available. Um, I'm planning to do a lot of this, um, and uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how it comes together. Uh, using either MATLAB or coding, uh, sorry, the MATLAB coder uh, to generate C++ to code to do all this sort of stuff. So we'll see. It's still early days, but obviously I'll mention uh, my reports, my results, and how it's done, so and so forth. So stay tuned, uh, and hopefully I'll answer this person's question later.